Greetings, First English family and friends. Welcome to Thursday, Thursday, March 31st, 2022, last day of March. And it is going out like a lion. We got a dusting of snow overnight, and now the wind is blowing about 29 degrees here at the house. So, not a very pleasant day out there. So, uh, bundle up for going out. Check in time. How are you all doing? Hope and pray that you are healthy and safe and well. And uh, leave a comment or a question below if you have one. I don't have coffee this morning. I'm going to stop at the fire station and have coffee with the crew there. But I do have some water in my travel mug here. So cheers, church. Uh, there we go. Hope we got a chance to worship last night, either online or in person. The uh, uh, the uh, server got uploaded to YouTube probably 8-ish, maybe between 8 and 8.30. Also over on Facebook as well. So if you get a chance to watch that. Also, um... I was going to say one other thing and I forgot it. Anyway, let's get on with the Devo. <laughs> we are in Grace Unbounded, and um, our writer for this week is Pastor Harvard Stevens. And he's a pastor and musician living in Annapolis, Maryland. And the picture today is... <laughs> and they're kneeling and in the sun, praising God, it looks like. Giving thanks. And our scripture reading is Luke 17, 12 to 16, and then 19. As Jesus entered a village, ten lepers approached him. Keeping their distance, they called out, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. When he saw them, he said to them, Go and show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were made clean. Then one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back praising God with a loud voice. He prostrated himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him, and he was a Samaritan. Then Jesus said to him, Get up and go on your way. Your faith has made you well. The to ponder part is a quote from written by Ram Das in an article called Stroked. Wherever it came from, the stroke and the crisis of faith that it precipitated was a deep teaching. Faith seems fragile and intangible when it disappears. Yet it, yet it has been the most powerful wellspring in my life and a source of strength since it returned. Hmm. I'll read that again. Wherever it came from, the stroke and the crisis of faith that it, precip it precipitated was a deep teaching. Faith seems fragile and intangible when it disappears. Yet it has been the most powerful wellspring in my life and a source of strength since it returned. And that the, the uh, devotion by Pastor Harvard is faith rekindled. Faith often surprises us. When we think we have mastered this gift, it may slip away, holding captive our confidence in its power. However, in marvelous and astounding ways, it can also suddenly reappear, connecting us to the signs and wonders of a God who can make all things new. The story of the ten people affected by leprosy is often shared on days of thanksgiving. The act of returning to the Lord and expressing gratitude for being cleansed from the scourge of this illness is a model we are all called to emulate. Jesus acknowledges this by sending the Samaritan on his way with the clear affirmation, your faith has made you well. Many kinds of illness come our way. Some are mental or physical illnesses, while others are social and cultural signs that we have become indifferent to the needs of others. Amid these things, the gifts of unending grace must work first to rekindle the faith that has been lost. And with faith restored, all manner of healing will appear. Faith is a funny thing sometimes, isn't it? Yeah. Sometimes we are, we are bold and strong in our faith, and other times it may seem that faith has disappeared. And we find it, we find it a struggle to believe. Yeah, but then the grace, the promise of grace is always ours, right? We are marked with the cross of Christ, 
and sealed by the Holy Spirit forever. Um, and God's grace always comes to us. And when our faith seems to be dwindling or, or, or flickering, uh, we, we hold out for that promise for God to reappear and, and give us that boost of faith. And with faith restored, all manner of healing will appear. That's the good news. So be a strong heart, good courage this day, dear church. Keep yourself safe and healthy and well. Wash your hands, wear your masks and distance as you see appropriate. And we do these things to show love to our neighbor and share the light of Christ. Um, uh, oh yeah, um, worship this weekend, uh, April 3rd, the fifth Sunday of Lent. That will be recorded and posted Sunday morning, probably late morning, probably, let's see, 10 o'clock, 11.30. It should get posted, so I uh, hope you get a chance to worship either in person or online. And have a great weekend. Let's pray. Now thank we all our God with hearts and hands and voices for who you are and how your blessings fill our world. Amen. Blessings upon you this day. Peace.